then we have what is probably the worst case of judicial corruption in New York to date. Child abused by her father, doctors at Bellevue Hospital call in the abuse to the Administration for Children's Services with physical evidence. But dad is a New York City detective with a 20 year kinship with the New York City District Attorney's Office. Workers of the Administration for Children's Services and the child's appointed law guardians from the Legal Aid Society and the Manhattan Family Court judge work in collusion with one another to get the child abuser off the hook. This one case exposes all of the methods and procedures the family courts and children's services uses to convict the innocent of abuse in order to keep the children in the system to fund their salaries and to actually rescue child abusers who work for the system. The parent that never harmed the child was found guilty of crimes she never committed. How they accomplished this task is by using the same method they use for all the innocent families imprisoned in the system. First of all, no initial investigation, no attempt whatsoever to prevent separation of children from their parents, no due process, Purges, perjury is permitted against the respondents, and law guardians represent the agency, not the child. The child's law guardians, who ignored the child, never accepted her phone calls, and the second law guardian only spoke to the child one time in two years, perjured them, themselves in court in order to prevent reunification. Both law guardians repeatedly made objections in court throughout the entire trial to allowing probative evidence that proved the mother's innocent and the father's guilt. The last law guardian disregarded the child's therapist's report that stated the child suffers emotionally from the forced visits with her father and wants them to be terminated. The last child's law guardian objected to the mother's expert witness because, quote, the witness believes in family reunification, unquote. Without any medical license, the judge labeled the mother as being mentally disturbed with the illness paranoia. In the Soviet Union, all dissidents of the government were deemed to be paranoid. This was done because the mother advertises this case on television. What is worse than a man raping his child? There is something much worse. It's a city government protecting the child rapist.